Hey guys, can you hear me? I don't know why my video is not loading. Um, can anyone hear me? I can't even tell you, like, I should be more grateful for hot water, running water. I don't know. I was, like, so busy complaining about COVID and, like, how we're all stuck staying at home. And then the hot water went out. So <laughs> clearly um, that gave me a whole new perspective. So now who's there? Oh, did you say now I'm gone? Am I still here? Anyone there? Who's here? We got a lot of people here. We have Marilyn. Um, let's see if people budget their stimulus check. Uh, LaDonna from Charlotte, Trisha, super excited. Carla from Columbus, Vanya, it's pouring rain in London. You know, I love rain. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to stay in London and just live there. Um, and let's see who else is here. Uh, Trisha from Houston, LaDonna from Charlotte, Marilyn, hotter than sweaty balls here in Arizona. Yeah. Arizona is hot. I just think, I know everyone says there's dry heat, but I just feel like I'm just hot. Like I'm never like, well, this is a calm dry. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm dying. Get me some air conditioning whenever I'm in Arizona. But I love it there. Um, LaDonna, I'll see if I can send some to London. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, thank you. London would appreciate it. Uh, all right. Now, LaDonna said, I'm not, okay, Trisha said, now I'm back. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So before we get started, I saw that there was a tech question at the bottom. Um, so Vanya asks, can you help me with how to change the direction of text? I would like to enter text vertically. For example, on a side tab, I thought you had a video on it in Planner Academy, but if so, uh, I cannot find it. Thank you in advance. This is super easy. So I'm just going to share my screen to show you how to do this um, really quick. So I am all hope it works. I have to share and I apologize because I'm on my huge 34 inch ultra wide. Um, so it might look a little small. Let me try to make this bigger. Focus screen. Get bigger. Okay. It won't get bigger. All right. So really easy inside of Adobe InDesign. So I will just start a new file for you. Um, all you have to do is go over here to text and obviously to make a text box, this is horizontal. Um, there's two ways. One, you could just take your text box over here and let me make this a little bigger so you can actually see the text that we're looking at. Um, sans, maybe a 50. There we go. So there's two ways. One, you could take this text ba box, hover right here over the corner. So as soon as you hover over the corner, that arrow kind of goes curved. You could just go ahead and flip it up like that. That's usually what I do. Um, there is a way over here on the text tool. If you right click, um, you can type on a path. So typing on a path um, will kind of make it curvy or whatever, but this is the easiest way to do those tabs that you want for vertical tabs. And if you want it to face the other way, you can obviously turn it over. So it's this way. Now to get it to lock in place, see how it's like perfectly perpendicular. I will hold, I know you can't see it, but I will hold down the shift key. Um, and that will kind of lock it into either perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal. So I hope that helped answer your question. Um, and Shanda, uh, hi Lisa, can you help me learn how to make a curved box in InDesign? Yes, I can, it's very easy. So to make a curved box, you're gonna first just go over here to a rectangle tool and let's say we're gonna make a regular box, right? Um, let's, let's give it some edges so you can actually see it. Okay, 
So this is our regular box. It's kind of ugly, right? So you want to put curves on it. All you have to do is select this box. And then over here on the top, you'll notice you can make, you can change this to be fancy. You can make it bevel. Uh, you can make it inverted. You can make it inverse. Um, and then what you're asking for probably is just the rounded. The other ones are kind of ugly. I don't even like, in theory, those are options, but they're not that great. Um, I think and I've never done this, but I saw somebody else who had some fancy kind of things. I think they had said they had bought um, a plugin or an add-on uh, to make the boxes even, I guess, fancier. I don't, I'm not sure, but Shanda, I hope that answered your question. All right, any other tech questions? Happy to answer those. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna flip the screen and show you uh, the new budget planner. I'm not gonna flip the screen, I'm already sharing. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> All right, so this came in, it's a much shorter one. The wedding planner I know was like 130 some pages. So this is 66 pages. So inside of here, here's the cover. Remember, if you want to swap out, because I gave you four different cover options. So let me just share with you the different cover options. So over here on the sales page, which I will link for you below. Um, oh no, there you go. So over on the sales page, you're going to see there are four additional covers plus this cover. So just like the wedding cover, you got five different covers. Um, I try to stay with kind of a neutral uh, lilac sort of rose color. So these are more, I don't want to say pastel, but you know, it's springtime. Easter season. I thought this was a little softer of a look. Um, but if you want to swap out any of these covers, all you have to do is go over here and go to file and go to place and then select whatever other cover you want and it will pop it right in for you without you having to resize it or do anything else. Plus all the covers are already uh, eight and a half by 11. But this is the cover that I chose for this one. Um, and then over here, uh, I didn't do as many quotes this time, um, just because I felt like those were kind of like filler uh, and you didn't need as many quotes because I shouldn't say you don't need as many. I guess in the budget planner, I think everyone has a different philosophy. Uh, so mine is always the, um, you know, just live on a hat in a little squat or what am I trying to say? Little like uh, rug on the floor. I didn't even have a bed for literally, I want to say six or seven years because I sold it so I could make money. And I just simply uh, paid off all of my debt. So I tried to do a little more conservative here, um, but I popped in just a couple of quotes. There's like, I think four or five in here. Um, but here's the first page for the budget planner. And then over here, you get a table of contents that you can easily add to. Remember I said that I had these soft colors. Uh, so you have four different pillars inside of here. So the first section is just an overview of your financial freedom roadmap. That's kind of what I used as the keywords because they were positive and they were light and they weren't like get out of debt now or um, become a billionaire or something, you know, something cheesy or something that would violate FTC regulations on overpromising. Um, financial freedom is kind of just vague. Uh, so you're going to get an overview and then each of the different pillars has its own section. So the first one is debt elimination. Uh, the second is monthly budget. The third is wealth creation. And the fourth is savings. So in theory, I guess if you don't have any debt, someone could just skip that whole first pillar. Um, or you could put in there, you could add something on like how to remain debt free or something. I don't know. Um, so over here, uh, we're gonna jump into the first section. So each of the different sections has a different page right here that you're gonna see, and it has an icon. So you're actually going to get um, 10 different icons. So just like last time, I created these Instagram highlight covers for you. So just things that are finance related and you know the piggy bank, the umbrella, there's a 10th one that I didn't even show, um, but you're gonna get all of those icons, not just only as Instagram highlight covers, but you'll also get them just as icons, as PNG, like the transparent files that you can use anywhere or on anything that you want to. Um, so I just picked out a couple and popped them in to the book or I guess I should say the planner. Um, so inside of here, here's your four different pillars. Um, 
This is a big goal setting section. I'm picking a financial theme for the year. Um, over here is a section on how they can create their long-term financial goals, what those will feel like. So again, like I said, a lot more room to write. I think a big, um, I don't know if it's a complaint, but a, a feedback that I got from the last couple planners that I made was that there's not enough room for people to actually like participate in the planner that they purchased and write stuff. So I tried to leave a lot more blank space uh, for people to write. And that question, I can't remember who asked it, um, about the boxes and the rounded corners, I made them just like that, like I just showed you. So these all have rounded corners because yes, it's true, the rounded corners just look nicer. Um, and so over here you have the debt elimination. So for each of the four pillars, the monthly budget, the current situation, and what the future dream situation is for each of, uh, for whoever's filling this out. Um, and then over here, I put quarterly goals. So you'll notice that one of the colors is yellow. Yellow is hard to see. Um, so sometimes I just use black if it was just too uh, too light. Um, but these are trying to break the quarterly goals down and then the action steps people need to take. So I gave room for like three goals per quarter um, and it, tell, it defines the quarters for you right inside of here. And then over here, we move into the debt elimination section. So in the debt elimination section, um, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go just talk about, you know, how much you owe. Um, and then over here, you're going to take this list from the left and you're actually going to put down, you know, how much you owe from smallest to largest. My philosophy is always it's easier to pay off smaller amounts than it is larger amounts because it's kind of like when you do your tasks for the day, there's different philosophies. Like uh, there's the eat your frogs first. I 100% disagree. And if you're not sure what frogs are, frog is like that thing that you don't want to do. It's really hard. It's difficult. It like makes you want to run to Netflix when you hear about it or you're like, you know what? Doing the laundry would be so much more fun or cleaning the dishes or cleaning the toilet would be way better than this goal that I have to do. So I always try to do little tasks and get them out of the way uh, before I try to do big tasks for the day because it helps build up confidence and it helps kind of get momentum going. And so it's the same thing with paying off loans. I paid off all of my tiny loans, like my $2,000 loan, even though it had like a 0% interest rate, it doesn't matter um, because psychologically it kind of got the ball rolling versus say my, I don't even like I think I had one loan that was like 75,000 for a student loan that had 12% interest um, because I just got, you know, snowed over on that. But um, that one, I did not pay off till the very end, even though it had the highest interest rate because it would just feel so depressing to pay it off because it had the highest interest rate. It's compounding daily. And um, it just would feel like I wasn't getting anywhere. Uh, so that's kind of how I set this up. Um, also fixed expenses. So this is just a place for them to list out all of the expenses, basically that you can't really change in the short term. Yes, you could move to a smaller house, you could downsize your car, but in the immediate, probably in the next year, you're not going to be able to. So this is a section to split that out to help educate people on the differences between the two. And then over here, we have variable expenses, which quite honestly, if you're going to try to pay off debt, uh, you should, in theory, just eliminate or reduce these immediately. Now, this is not um, to say that you know, you're know you trying to tell them they need to delete everything. You're just trying to help them understand the difference between the two. Um, and then over here is a section on what can you eliminate or what can you reduce um, and how much will you save, right? So you don't always have to make more money. You maybe just need to manage your money better. And that's what this section right here is all about. And then over here, ways to actually make more income, right? So there's never been a time before where people can make, you know, oodles and oodles of extra cash doing like odd jobs here and there. And when I say odd jobs, I mean like, you could go on TaskRabbit and do a couple things this weekend, decide it's not for you or decide that, you know what, that already paid for my manicure for next weekend. So I'm not going to do that again. Right. So it's very easy to pick up extra income without having to make a big like commitment. So that's why I put the picture of the dog walkers in here. And I'm assuming because I can't see your questions at the same time. No one has. Screen. OK, great. <laughs> All right. So let's keep going. 
So over here, um, this is monthly budget. So what I did, this section's pretty big only because I gave you a separate sheet for every single month. Now, you can obviously add more rows to this. So if you aren't familiar with these, this is a table. A table is a text box. So a lot of people get confused with this. So I'm just gonna show you really quick. If you wanna make your own table, you first have to make a text box. So if I wanna make a table, I'm going to go over here to the type tool, I'm gonna to change it back to regular, and I have to make a box first. I know it sounds counterintuitive, like it looks like I'm gonna write stuff in it, but I'm not gonna write anything, I'm actually just gonna stick a table in it. And that's how you stick the table, and you first have this, and then you go to table, and you say insert table, and you have to insert it, into that text box. I know that was like probably the hardest part for me to learn about Adobe InDesign was that text boxes are inside text, or tables are inside text boxes. Like if you just try to make a table without a text box, um, it's not gonna work. So, so it says create table, right? So that's what these are. So if you want to, this kind of works just like Microsoft Excel. If you take a table that's already made and you right click, you can say insert a row, insert a column. You're obviously gonna have to resize things for spacing issues, but you can add as many rows or columns as you want, make them skinnier, make them fatter, uh, whatever you wanna do. Um, now, I went ahead and just gave a list of things that, cause I've been budgeting for years, right? And if you go into any of those apps, they have pretty much the same categories, right? Um, there are obviously exceptions or people have, I don't know, fun things that they spend their money on that maybe the rest of us don't. Maybe they have a yacht and they have to budget for the gas for the yacht. Um, although I guess that would just fall underneath uh, travel or gas. Um, so all of these are utilities, whatever things that you normally pay for. Obviously, if they have daycare, or other things like that, they can add them in. You could really change this around and make this um, a new parent uh, budget planner, right? You can make it a first year of college budget planner. I know I wasted thousands of dollars that I had saved up for college on buying stupid stuff like t-shirts, pizza, um, I don't even know, late night snacks at the world's worst on campus cafe. So, you know, all of those things, all of those different situations, you can custom tailor each of these two. But so you get January, you get February, March, April, May, June. I'm sure you know the month, so I will keep reading them. But all of these go through, they look exactly the same. Um, they just have different colors uh, and yeah. And so you go all the way through to December. That's your monthly budget. Now you do a little wrap up at the end, what went well, what went not so well. Um, there are budget trackers that will do a monthly like review. Um, so you could add one of those too. You could just copy and paste these and just put that for every month. Um, so then you jump into your next section, which is wealth creation. Uh, and wealth creation over here is listing out assets, right? So if you ever look at a balance sheet, those are your assets, right? So there are two types of assets. So this is just listing out what people have right now. And then on the right, this is a list of future dream assets, like things that they wanna purchase, right? Um, Cause I know whenever people make vision boards, there are definitely things about travel or having a dog or something cute like that. But then there's also people with, you know, I want a yacht, I want my own private island, I would like my own private jet. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like cars, they're usually things. Um, so that's why I listed them here. Now, appreciation, so this is again, just trying to help people understand that not all assets are in theory, from a wealth standpoint, good assets, right? Uh, so there are things that will appreciate value. So they're more like an investment. Uh, so say a second home, real estate's always a good investment, gold, um, art, well, art could go either way. Um, so, you know, 401ks, uh, CDs, bonds, all of these things are assets versus like appreciating assets versus depreciating assets are cars, <laughs> yachts, um, I don't even know, clothes, right? So those are definitely an asset that you own. But if you've ever tried to sell anything on Poshmark or eBay later, it's gonna go for much less than what you paid for it. So this is just trying to help educate people the difference between the two so, they can, so that in theory, they'll make smarter decisions going forward.
And then this is your last section, which is the saving up section. Now this section, I just put four things in there. Again, I really think this should be tailored to um, whatever the theme is for your uh, budget tracker. And if not, these four are kind of generic, right? So pretty much everybody wants children. Um, you know, for the most part, the, the percentage is high. Uh, and if not, they could change it to saving up for a kitten or a puppy or, um, or a tiger. <laughs> Everyone's watching Tiger King right now. So what I did is I just popped in here just average costs for different things like to raise a baby right now it costs you i think 233,000 per year till they're 18 so that's about 12,000 per year that someone in theory that wants to have a baby should come up with um over here is saving for retirement i put some stats in here that you know 50,000 is the average spend for 65 year olds um so there's basically two sections like where will the money come from like maybe they already have assets remember we talked about this before they have appreciating assets and when they retire or when they wanna go on vacation or pay for their child's education, maybe they're just gonna go ahead and sell their Monet or Van Gogh painting or something, right? So that could be some, a way that they could come up with the items for the first box and then how will you save for it just helps them to think about planning going forward. Um, and obviously for how will you save for it, you could go ahead and create a chart again, like month, year, total amount to help them back into that number. Um, over here is saving for vacation. Again, I put the average price in there um, and how will they save for it? And again, I put some other questions for people to think through, like maybe they'll take more than one vacation per year. Maybe, I know because I'm an only child, my parents always let me take a friend along on vacation, which I'm sure, you know, they're very nice, but I'm sure that was not cheap um, to have to pay for somebody else's kid. And um, maybe, you know, a lot of times we went on vacation, we brought my Aunt Zelda, who was significantly older, but just so she could go on vacation and see things. And, you know, that was an extra added expense. So just things to think about, uh, like things that you can help them with that maybe they forgot about details, right? Um, and then gift giving, right? So I didn't really say I said here, the, um, you know, average Christmas gift is nine forty two per year uh, that one person will spend. But you know, there's different gift giving seasons. There's weddings, there's bar mitzvahs, bridal showers, baby showers, um, birthday celebrations. So tons of things that people should be thinking about um, when they're paying off debt. Now, again, I try to be conservative because, like, I know when I paid off debt, I just announced to all of my friends, I'm not giving you any gifts, even if you have a baby. Even if you get married, it doesn't matter until I pay off all my debt. And I think that really, I don't even know, I didn't add it up, but in theory, that should that probably help like $2,000 a year. So, and then I just put the logo at the end. So that's everything that you're getting inside of the actual planner. And then just like last time, um, Marilyn, for babies only for me, perfect. Um, you're gonna get a bunch of bonuses. So over here, let me try to save. Oh, we have a question. Um, are the icons editable? I'm in the UK, so the pound rather than the dollar. The icons are not editable because I don't know how to draw. <laughs> so <laughs> those are just icons. I think if those icons had been created in Adobe Illustrator, they could be edited but I have zero skills in the way of drawing. So I never use Illustrator. It's also why I never make planner stickers for you because I just can't do it. They're so hideously ugly. So anyways, they aren't. However, you could easily um, inside Photoshop what I do. So hold on, I will show you, Vanya, in case you wanna know. So if I'm inside of Photoshop and I want to replace something, Let's find one of those icons. Do they all have dollars? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, there's a lot of them with dollar signs. Oh, it would help if I shared my screen with you, right? Hold on. <laughs> totally forget about that. Um. Why don't I see the share button? Hmm. Let me, hold on.
Hold on. You might lose me for a second. Let me reload the page. All right, there it's back again. <laughs> okay, so inside of Photoshop, here's what I would do. And again, I'm sure you could do this in Canva. I do not know how to use Canva. Again, I never use it, I just use Photoshop. So here's your icon and here's that dollar sign, right? All you would do is go over here to the magic wand tool and you would go ahead and just click this and then hit the delete button and it's gone. I don't have the pounds on my thing, but you could put something else in there. Like, I don't know, I could put L because maybe I own my own kingdom and everybody has to use L dollars. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, let's make this cake sands. There we go. And you could put that there. So that's how I would fix the icons is just delete, go over here to the magic wand. You can select anything with the magic wand um, and then just delete it. Uh, like, let's say we want to delete this hat. Oh, whoops. That's everything. Or we want to delete, I don't even know, the L again, this thing. Oh, I deleted everything. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to delete all that. But you can also use um, the eraser tool over I shouldn't even say that I never use the eraser tool so what I usually do is I use the marquee tool and I will just delete things like this as well you can just highlight the things you want to delete so that's one way I would do it hope that helps um but yeah Fanya, perfect thank you great all right so what was I trying to show you I was trying to show you Oh, I did it again. This is so weird. Every time I stop sharing, it Am I back? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me try this again. Uh, where are you? Okay, hopefully uh, you can see the sales page. So let me just walk you through exactly what you're gonna get. Two things um, really important is this is on sale until the end of the month, till Thursday, April 30th for $47. So just use the, the discount code budget 47 and it'll drop the price down. Or I believe if you click this link, it'll just be $47. Um, let me exit the visual builder because it's trying to edit the page for me. Okay. So down here, um, this is another logo that I created for you. I'll show you those in a minute. Um, but everything you get in the budget planner pop-up shop is just like normal. You're going to get the entire, uh, budget planner as a PDF, even though I wrote wedding planner, clearly a typo. I will change that. Um, you're going to get the InDesign file so you can edit it. And I included both the current one, the IMDD, as well as if you have a super old version, you can have the IDML file as well. Um, now remember, the only thing you're not going to get are those photos, right? So if anything like this woman, this is an Adobe uh, stock photo, but just like before, it'll tell you the exact Adobe stock ID number. You can just type that into Adobe Photos, and then you can have the photo yourself and replace it, or you can use one of your own photos. Um, over here, you're going to get all the font information in case you wanna use the same fonts, but again, you can use different fonts if you want. Um, you're going to get a JPEG of each picture. The reason I get the JPEG is because two things. One, if you wanna create any mock-ups, you definitely want the JPEGs. The second thing is if you know how to use Canva and you're like a Canva ninja, you could actually put it in Canva just like I showed you how to change that uh, icon. You could just delete things, I believe in Canva, like I think it has an eraser uh, and you can put, or sometimes you can just sort of jerry rig it and put a white box over something you don't like and then put your own text or your own graphic on top. Um, and that's another way you could edit it without having to use Adobe InDesign. So you'll notice too, when the new website comes out, 
I've really tried to move away from Adobe InDesign. Um, not that I'm going to create things in Canva, but just so, you know, if you're not a designer, you just want to make stationary, you can still use all the templates or all the tools so that they're more like non-designer friendly. Um, you're going to get the graphics pack. So just like last time, you're going to get everything you need to help sell it and help market it. So you're going to get the Etsy banners. I actually made two. Um, you're going to get the Facebook cover art, the Facebook post. You're going to get three Instagram posts. So two that are square and one for a story. Uh, you're going to get the Twitter header. And again, these are all perfectly sized, so you don't have to resize them. Um, you're going to get a Pinterest pin. You're going to get the pink alternate logo in case you really like pink better. That seems to be a more popular cover color. Uh, you're going to get a mock-up of the cover. You're going to get a mock-up of the interior layout, just like this. Um, you are going to get all 10 budget icons, like I mentioned, and the mood board. So if you go down here, I created a little GIF so you can see all of the different graphics that you're going to get inside of your graphic pack. So all of that's in there and ready to download right now. And just like normal, you're going to get the mood board. Great way to help advertise this um, or help sell this to a client or to kind of work with them to change the colors. Uh, so you're going to get all of that as well. And then for bonuses, um, you're going to get the same six bonuses that all the pop-up shops have. Uh, you're going to get the Etsy launch guide in case you want to launch on Etsy. And again, you don't have to launch on Etsy. You can a thousand percent put this in your own store on your website and Shopify. You could send this PDF out to people as a freebie download. Maybe if you have a budgeting soft, uh, software or app or coaching that you want to give them um, to get them interested. Uh, over here, you're going to get 50 blog post ideas. Now, these are specific. Every every pop-up shop are has 50 ideas that just apply to whatever that subject is. So like last month, it was weddings. Uh, this one is all about budgeting, debt payment, uh, saving up, all of that stuff. Um, over here, you're going to get the SEO keywords, um, as well as a video that just teaches you how to do that on side of Etsy and how to find keywords if that's a tool that you're going to use. Um, over here, you're going to get a tutorial on how to set up your Etsy shop in case you've never done that, as well as because the most important part of Etsy is just having Google Analytics. Um, and you don't need to we're trying to say you don't need to have a perfect Etsy SEO. Sometimes people will just find you from a Google search to find your Etsy shop. Um, and then over here, you're going to get the swipe file. So the swipe file has basically 10 messages. Like you get the same questions every time, like, how do I print this? Um, just, can I do this double sided? Right. So I've just gone ahead and answered all of those for you. You can just copy and paste those into Etsy and I show you exactly where to put those. Um, the seventh bonus, like I mentioned, is I originally was going to do this in red. And the reason I was going to do it in red is because there was this graphic. Which one is it? Um, that one, <laughs> that flashed for like two seconds. The woman with the red skirt. Um, and I really liked the red skirt. It was like a power skirt. And I was like, I'm going to make everything maroon. But then when I went to make it, it was just like too much red. So I just left the logos out here for you in case you want to use them. Also, they're totally editable, so you can reuse these to whatever you want. Um, just like we were talking about, I think, Spanya, you don't have to use the dollar sign. You can put a pound sign in there. Um, the other bonus, I mentioned this already, is you're going to get all the Instagram highlight covers. I think this is a nice bonus that you can give people when they sign up for your planner uh, because people just love getting into I don't know it's really weird the Instagram highlight covers are one of those things like I don't even have those on my Instagram account they look so nice but you're like ah, it's such a pain to go get them and then put them on so this would be something nice that you could give to everyone and they are in purple or lilac you can change them to rose or to that red color or anything you want because you're going to get the original icons as well um, and so when you get those original icons you can just pop them in here and change the color however you want uh, you're also going to get those four bonus covers, like I mentioned. So you're going to get not only those four different covers that you can swap out, but you're also going to get, I created a, um, Instagram. I know it's hard to see. This is like big, uh, an Instagram square sort of graphic for you. So you can go ahead and advertise any of these covers if you have them. And that's pretty much it. So if you want to look inside to see what's in there, I added, hopefully these are helpful. I don't know why they're so skinny. I think if I knew CSS, which I don't, I could make them bigger. So I will work on finding someone to do that for me. Um, but these are all the pages inside of 
the planner in case you want to check them out first before you buy. Oh, there it is. There's the red dress that inspired me to make these logos over here. So yeah. <laughs> And I have a big announcement. Is it a big announcement? I don't know if it's a big announcement. I think you guys already know. So the planner um, that won for May was the business planner. So everyone chose the business planner. I've actually already created two business planners. There are, I have a business planner just in general for starting an online business that I gave, gave out through Boss School. So I will include that uh, for the business planner pop-up shop next month. It's already done. I also created another business planner for authors. So it doesn't matter if you're fiction, nonfiction, whatever. It's just how to make money just from writing books. That's what you want to do. Um, and so obviously I will create something new. So next month it's going to be a lot of different planners, but you're going to get another, uh, what I call the 30 day, uh, quick start guide. So like in a month, get up and running, like, what do I need to do? What are the steps? Um, so more of a streamlined, like, 30 day planner, if that makes sense. So in theory, what should happen is you could take that 30 day planner, create a 30 day course around that, that you can sell to people and include your 30 day planner as part of uh, one of the works books, workbooks that they get for that course. Um, Trisha, oh, quick question. I totally had a brain fart last month and forgot to purchase the wedding planner. Any chance you're putting it back on sale anytime this year? No, so in fact, I was thinking of just actually not putting them on sale at all. So what happens is they're 47 for launch week. And then after that, uh, they go to 247. But then I was thinking of just putting them in the vault and not even having them available at all, um, just so that that way, if you have them and you purchase them, then there's just less of them out there available. So <laughs> will it come on sale? I don't know. I have so many new products I'm putting out. I don't think I'm going to recycle any. Um, maybe in 2021, that will be a different story. But right now, it's not on sale. But Vanya, yay for the business planners. I really need to launch my business. Cool. Anybody have any other questions? questions or anything I can help answer. So this is available just so you know, only like I mentioned until this Thursday. Um, and then it's not even available for the regular price 247. I might make it available for the regular price through the weekend. Um, but that's it. After that, then it will just go into the vault and it just won't be on sale. Um, and then you'll have to wait till the May planner comes out and then that will be on sale. Um, there was something else really important I wanted to tell you. Um, I'll think of it. <laughs> uh, Carla, is the 30-day planner just for the business planner? Yes, it is just for the business planner. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you, the digital planner. So for those of you who like to sell a digital planner or just like the digital planner for yourself, when you purchase this, it will be, oops, <laughs> That's the back end. When you purchase this, you will get a chance when you go inside to purchase the digital planner for half off. So they're always, digital planners 100% are always $97. So you'll get that for half off when you purchase this. It'll give you a chance to add that in as an upsell. Um, is the 30 day planner just for business? I answer, Ebony, when is Planner Academy starting? Uh, so Ebony, I think I mentioned, uh, maybe you weren't here, but I've decided not to launch Planner Academy till the fall only because it's such a high ticket price item. And I just feel like it's insensitive to everything going on. I think a lot of people are like just low on cash um, and just low on funds and just kind of just stressed. I don't know, it just feels wrong to push like such a high ticket item. Um, so I'm not gonna push that. Instead I'm pushing actually a very low ticket item next month. Uh, so not this week, but the next week after that, I don't have a calendar in front of me, mid-May I am announcing the Lookalike Layout Club. I don't, what is that? So if you remember, I used to make the lookalike layouts for uh, like tons of different planners, right? The Erin Condren, the Full Focus, the Day Designer. So I've decided to run it more like a club. So the lookalike layout club is really for, remember I said I was moving away from Adobe InDesign? Lookalike Layout Club is for those who don't want to move away from Adobe InDesign, who really want to learn more about how to use Adobe InDesign, how to specifically for planners and workbooks and journals. And so every month, 
uh, in the Lookalike Layout Club, you're going to vote on which planner, just like the pop-up shop, that you want me to create next month. So you can say, I really love, I don't even know, hopefully you don't say the happy planner because I really don't like that one, but whatever you guys vote for, it doesn't matter. I will just recreate that layout for you. You'll get the tutorial, you'll get the cheat sheet, and you'll get the template. So that will be the Lookalike Layout Club. Every month you will get a new planner. Um, and more importantly, you'll learn how to make it. So that's just going to be a lower ticket price. It's only, I don't even know what the pricing is. It's only going to be double digits, probably 47 per month. Um, and that has, I feel more comfortable giving that out than I do giving out the Planner Academy, if that makes sense. Um, Sophia, when will the digital budget planner be available? Great question. I mean, they only take me a weekend to do, but I do have a book deadline on March 6th for a book that uh, I have due to an actual real publisher. So um, I will work on it right after that. So I would say in two weeks, no more than two weeks. Um, Elise, that's a good idea. I got both. Great. Uh, Trisha, sounds exciting. Elise, I love that. Awesome. Uh, Ebony, will it be like a membership? It will be like a membership. It won't have a Facebook group only because I am anti-Facebook group. I don't know. It's like so much. It's not even that it's a lot of work. It's like if you're ever in those Facebook groups, it's like, I, I don't know. It's like a flea market. Like a post goes up but I really needed the post that's 20 posts down. Somebody makes a high comment on the welcome post that from like three years ago, and all of a sudden that's the number one post on Facebook. And this free, I like can't even like figure out what's going on in Facebook groups. So that's why I never do them because I kind of feel like they're confusing. So anyways, at least I am over Facebook groups. Yeah, I mean, at first you're like, oh my God, this is such a great deal. I'm gonna get to be part of a Facebook group. And then you're like, nobody really is in here. The moderator, the facilitator, super excited in the beginning, and then she kind of like ghosts you and disappears for the rest. Or maybe she has this random admin in there telling you anything you want answered can only be answered in like a private $1,200 one-on-one -on -one session. So you'll get plenty of one-on-one -on -one time. We'll have the tutorials will probably be recorded just because if you've ever seen me do tutorials in real life, um, I take a while. I say um a lot. And so this way, if I record it, it'll be much more precise, much more succinct, and I can delete all the ums or sometimes even on tutorials. I don't know if you guys know this. I will record them two or three times because I'm like, 20 minutes is way too long. I could have explained that in two minutes. Um, and plus, I just go on and on like this. So those will be recorded. You'll get the cheat sheet. You'll get the template. And then we'll have like a live session after you've watched it. You have the cheat sheet and the template. And then we'll talk about how to, what I think the real value is, we'll talk about customizing it. Um, you know, how to change it maybe to all red if you want or how to change the fonts or the sizing. And so I think there's more value in doing that one-on-one -on -one, um, or in a private session than there is doing the actual just initial tutorial because... I gotta tell you, I've seen some tutorials where they take three hours because she's just like thinking about stuff. She forgot how to do something and it's just painful to watch. So I would never do that to you. <laughs> um, Vanya, I like the sound of this club, really enjoyed the look of that, it's cool. Although I'm also a happy planner. You know what it is? I just don't like those plastic discs. I say this all the time, um, but I realize that they're convenient. Uh, Carla, can you make a different cover for the budget planner? Can you make a different? I will not be making any more covers, but you can make more covers. <laughs> Anything you want to do, you can make an additional cover for that. Um, Ebony, looking forward to it. Awesome. Sophia, is it okay to sell the look like planners we create? Is this a copyright issue? So just so you know, um, planners cannot be copyrighted. So the word day designer can be trademarked. Erin uh, Condren can be trademarked. Um, but layouts for calendars cannot be trademarked or patented because it is a calendar, right? So nobody has the authority to stop other people from making calendars or a weekly layout or a daily layout or anything like that. Now, what I do do, if you've looked at any of the layouts, is I change the wording um, and I change the spacing sometimes or I change the symbols or something. So they're look alike but they're not exact replicas. So in theory, one, you could just use it as is and sell it today if you're in the lookalike layout club. Um, and two, you could just feel comfortable knowing that it's been changed enough that it isn't an exact replica. I hope that makes sense. So, um, but I did check with a lawyer 
Um, she obviously has not looked at every single one, um, but she confirmed that planners can't be copyrighted. So you're good. Um, Vanya, will it be 100 per month? I don't know. I was thinking like doing an intro, like a early bird for 47 per month, um, and then maybe it goes up after that. So I would think the regular membership would be two things. One, it'll be 97 per month probably for the regular membership if you don't get in like founder's rate. And two, to be fair, um, it's not fair, obviously, I totally get it, for someone to join in December for just 97 and then get all of the templates from before. Um, so what will happen is I'm probably not going to open up enrollment for more than a year or six months, right? And then when you join, you're going to have to pay a catch-up rate uh, to get all of the prior lookalike layouts because obviously that just wouldn't be fair to everybody else who's been paying every month. So that's in theory how I'm going to run it. Um, Marilyn, thank you, I hate Facebook groups too. Carla, do you plan to do a planner for affirmations? I don't know what affirmations are. If you elaborate, I could answer a yes or no. Um, Elise, I'm excited for it, awesome. Um, when do you think that's going to, you are going to start that again? Um, for sure next month. So there is a new lookalike layout coming out Hold on, I will just, I will get a calendar for you because I've already recorded the video. Uh, so that comes out on, where's my mate calendar? I don't know how to use planner, hold on. <laughs> that is going to come out on Monday, May 11th or on Thursday, May 14th. I can't remember which one. So the second week of May, that lookalike layout tutorial is coming out and that is for, Oh, actually, it's not a lookalike layout. It's just a tutorial on how to, a behind the scenes on how to create the anxiety, not the anxiety, the anti-anxiety. Don't want to give people anxiety. Uh, like de-stressing planner. Because if you look at the voting for this month, the business planner obviously won by a landslide by like 45%. The anti-anxiety planner won by, or was in second place by like 23 or 24%. And then a bunch of people DM'd and commented and asked me later, if I would make one, because they thought it would be good with everything going on right now. So that's what I did. So that will launch like probably in the month. That's not gonna have all the bells and whistles like the pop-up shop, because that's just a lot of work. It'll just be the template as is, and that'll just be rolled into um, the, like that'll be the video that announces the lookalike layout club, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, I hope that helped answer your question. Uh, when do you think you're going to start? Ebony, can we have recurring payments? Um, yes, so it will be just a subscription based. I think that's what you're asking. Um, Trisha, hey, did you ask your accountant about your sales tax on downloads? I did, I'm covered. So <laughs> I know you're really into the sales tax. I don't know if you're worried that like, I'm not charging you sales tax. Um, but all the tools that I'm using already have all of that covered. Um, so you can actually use, there is a, another screen, what is it called? Tax jar. So if anybody has tax questions, um, Trisha, I think you're the only one who's ever asked me about tax questions. And I am not an accountant and I don't know, I can barely do my own taxes. <laughs> tax jar. I just put the link down there for you, um, does taxes. Like they know all about business taxes, um, sales taxes, they do everything for taxes, they have articles on quest questions about taxes. So I just am not qualified to answer any of your questions, Trisha, on sales tax. <laughs> um, Ebony, I have a hard time keeping up with payments. Aw, <laughs> we all do. Um, Sophia, this sounds good. Carla, affirmations are proven methods of self-improvement because of their ability to rewire our brain. I probably won't make a uh, planner on that anytime soon just because I don't use those, so I'm not really familiar with those. But I could look into them if that's something that people vote on for a new pop-up uh, planner for the month. Um, Vanya, will this be sep completely separate to Planner Academy? Yeah, Planner Academy is over and done with, so just forget about it. So this is totally separate. If you were in Planner Academy, like from before, you actually already have access to all of the lookalike layouts that I did up until this date. But then going forward, um, you'd have to join the lookalike layout club if you want to get the future ones. 
Um, Carla, by saying, hearing, or writing a powerful action, you manifest it to your brain over and over again until you actually believe your aff affirmation. Yeah, I'm sure it's like great. I am just not like, I think you guys all know, I'm not a touchy feely person. Um, I try to just stay positive in general, but I am not like good at like helping other people to get in touch with their feelings or any of that stuff. That's just not, like kind of like taxes. It's just not my area of expertise. Um, so, I do believe that would be a great planner. So if you want to send me an example, Carla, like just drop me an email of like one that you really love. Um, I will definitely take a look at it and then I will add it to the voting for the June planner and we'll see if other people want it too. Um, Marilyn, just bought the budget planner. Awesome. Can't wait to get started on this. Thanks. Cool. T, I'm late to the recording. It's just $47 and is non-designer friendly. Yeah, everything is non-designer friendly going forward. I was just saying that. So, you know, I'm all about helping you to make a stationary store, not about helping you get technical. I've even taken out the tagline in the new website where it says your, I'm your Adobe InDesign BFF. Um, I definitely still love Adobe InDesign and use that, but I think there's more ways to get to things that you want. You can just have something done for you. Um, so yes, you can just sell it as is. That's why the social media graphics are all done for you. You can just, you don't have to open up a single Adobe product to start selling and using this. Um, so, and yes, T, it's $47. The budget, the discount code is on the website. So underneath me, there's a button that says buy now. And on there, I think the code was budget 47. And so that should work for you. Sophia, just a question about the pics and the planners. Could you go over this again? Yes, I can. Um, so the pictures in the planners all of them that I can give to you, like the icons or the textures or the backgrounds, I gave them. If it is something that was purchased on Adobe, so let me just, um, let me share my screen so you can see this. Sophia, here's how it works. So if you use the PDF as is, you don't make any changes, you don't have to buy any photos at all. If you decide to edit the file though, not all the photos are going to show up. So let me just show you how that works. Um, okay, so inside of here, let me try to make this bigger. I don't know why it keeps doing that. There we go. All right, so inside of here, if you go to window and you go to links, you're going to see that a lot of the files will have, say, a question mark next to them. Obviously, I have the links to the original files, but when you don't, you're gonna see a question mark. And all you need to do is make this a little bigger. So you're gonna see that I used Adobe Stock 316. Let me write this number down. Um, 316-304-128. So I only, only, only ever use Adobe Stock. Um, so I'm gonna go over here to Adobe and I'm just gonna put that number in, 316-304-128. And that's gonna bring up the exact same photo that I already used. So you can see mine says re-download for free because I already downloaded it to put in here, but you can just buy it. Now, the way to buy stuff on Adobe Stock, if you don't have my link, in the last email I sent to everybody, they had a link, I had a, somehow I got a link for 10 free downloads for Adobe Stock as a trial. Um, so if you use that, you get 10 for free. You can obviously just go ahead and search as well for another icon that just looks like that or similar to that and use that one instead. And that's where all of those links are in case you wanna use those photos. So let's say instead, let's just take a photo. So these women are shopping, right? So let's say I don't really want women shopping because it looks too girly. So maybe I can search for men shopping. I don't know, <laughs> two men shop, there's not a lot of pictures. Oh, here's two dudes shopping. So let's say, and again, I obviously don't have the rights to use this, um, but let's say I go ahead and I download this to my desktop, men shopping. 
And over here, I'm gonna go ahead, select this picture with the selection tool, and I will just go to File, Place, and I wanna go ahead and go to Desktop. I, there's those men shopping, I'll say Open, and now I have men shopping instead of having those two women, and that's all you have to do to replace a photo. It's really that easy. Um, obviously, this is a different size, um, so what I could do is I could use that what's called the direct selection tool right underneath it. And then I could go ahead and I could make this a little bigger. There we go, just to fill out more space. Obviously it's granulated because it's a low quality image because I just kind of ripped it off of Google. Um, but if you buy anything off Adobe stock, it will be a very high quality image and it won't pixelate like that. So I hope that helps answer your question. Um, that was Sophia. Uh, do you have to buy your own pics? No. Carla, great, thanks, just bought the budget planner. Awesome. Uh, Sophia, thank you. Okay, my customers are mostly African-American and would like to change the pics. Yeah, you should totally do that. You know, um, you could always look for friendlier pictures. There is, I wanna say, there's different picture stock photo people. I don't know who they are, but they usually, it's kind of, I find it, um, helpful they will say i try to get diverse people in my photo stocks usually it's just uh african-american there's not really no hispanic there's really no asian it's just for some reason um it's easier i think to get uh photos with african-american than it is to get the other minorities or I, maybe there's a higher demand for it but it is harder for me to find photos with asians or with hispanic people carla unsplash has great photos cool So, do you guys have any other questions? So everything should be in there. I think the only thing that's not in there, yeah, is JPEGs. I was about to upload those, <laughs> that's it. But otherwise, everything's in there, everything's ready to go. And then I will be going dark for the next, I guess just the week, just a week. I only have like a week and a couple of days to finish this book. So I have to finish this book. It's due to the editor. Um, but then afterwards, I'll be back and alive. And like I said, I will be working. I will finish the digital planner for the budget planner. Sophia, yes, I agree. Thanks. I have used Unsplash. I'll check it out again. You know, Sophia, just will you send me an email after this? There are there were two photo stock people that I got that had lots of really great African American photos. And I was like, oh, these are really great resources. They had like memberships that you had to buy. Um, I can hunt those down for you. Sure, I will. Yeah. Vanya, if we want to buy the budget planner digital, do we do that now or wait until release? So the only way to buy the digit pl digital uh, budget planner for the 50% off is if you buy it now, because it won't be 50% off again. <laughs> so you definitely want to just buy that now when you go to checkout. Emily, can you send those to me, please? Yes, I definitely can. And I will make a note because I already have your email, Ebony. Um, thank you so much. Perfect. Any other questions? Do you guys have any questions just about InDesign, life, where to get toilet paper? I don't know. <laughs> just in general. <laughs> Nothing. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the budget planner. Super excited about the business planner next month because there are so many pages you don't even know. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone has a fabulous rest of the week. And I will talk to you guys, I guess, in a couple weeks. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I have like an Instagram addiction where I just keep posting all the time. I do post a lot of pictures of the cat, um, but that is also a great way just to chat with me. So Instagram didn't used to have the voice memo thing, but if you ask me a question, I will 100% just answer you. If I could just answer you with a voice memo, it's like super easy for me. Um, so even though I say I'm going dark, you can always find me on Instagram if you follow me over there. So definitely hang out. But if, again, if you don't like cats, you might like, not like my Instagram account because Lucky is always around in the background. Sophia loved the, by the way. Oh, cool. Uh, Lee Donna, me too. I would like the African-American photos too. Okay, great. Yeah, just go ahead and send me a um, email and I will get those, I will get those to you. In fact, now that I think about it, maybe I'll just add that as a resource onto my resource page. 
it is hard to find good quality because the problem is too sometimes it's hard to find good quality ones like i know sometimes when i find asian photos or photos with asian people they're so stereotyped you're like you just want to cringe when you see it you're like why are people even selling this um sophia these planners lisa me too cool all right, guys, I will see you on Instagram. And if not, I will talk to you again. I don't know when, whenever I'm back on live. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone.